So what if I told you that you can get a GoPro for just $27? That's right, $27 on Amazon. Well, today I'm going to tell you that there is a GoPro you can get on Amazon for just $27. Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you the camera that is just like a GoPro that you can get for just $30. It's called the Wow. It's called the Ion Cool Eye Cam S3000. It records in 720p video at 30 frames per second. It is waterproof for up to 10 feet and you can put a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in it. So this camera is literally comparable to the size of a flashlight. I have a friend who actually calls it the flashlight. To access the SD card, you can lock this, especially like if you're going somewhere where with like a lot of bumps if you're using it on your bike or if you go underwater and you don't want this cap coming off, you can lock it, but to take it off, you unlock it, twist it, and pull it off. And here is the SD card, and I have a 32 gigabyte in there, as you can see, SanDisk. And you can record an HD or WVGA, and I normally use HD because my computers won't play WVGA format. So, the next thing that is really cool about this camera is that it actually comes with a bike mount. You can also mount this camera to a tripod, or you can use the bike mount for another camera. Also, as far as accessories go, it also comes with this 3-inch charge slash sync cable. Okay, so we are going to test this camera by recording a few shots of some iPhones and iPods and iOS devices, stuff like that. I will use its microphone and pretend like I'm recording a video with it. So we're going to try that. I will not be doing a water test in this video, even though I said that it is waterproof up to 10 feet, which I have used it before in 10 feet of water and it works perfectly fine. So go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and record some shots with this video and you'll see how they turn out. Okay, so like I said, I was going to show you just a few shots um, for this that I would do for this YouTube channel. I'm not actually using these in my YouTube channel, but um, this is how the microphone sounds in case you were wondering. And I'm not using a tripod. I normally use a tripod, but I'm going to show you how it works if I hold my hand steady and then if I hold my hand really normal. So this is like no, this is pretty steady. If it looks a little shaky, it's because I'm not perfectly still. And this would be another shot that you might see in my videos pretty commonly. And then if I'm not steady, if I'm just like normal, well, that's probably a little better because I felt a little more steady then. But if I'm just like walking, that's what it's going to look like. That's about how much you would bounce if you're walking. So that's what you would see. The microphone's about a foot away from my mouth. It's not very clear. It's not the clearest microphone, but I'll do one more look. Just sit my iPod here. Okay, so this is how the microphone sounds and how the camera looks. Once again, it does record at 720p, 30 frames per second, which is what my last video was halfway recorded in because my camera started having issues, so I had to use my iPod. And I've been using it in 720p at 30 frames per second. So it's really not that bad. There's two small things I would warn you about for this camera, but it is no reason why not to get it. The first thing is, after you just charge your camera or even possibly just plugged it into the computer or the charger, you'll have to record it for a few seconds or until it automatically stops recording because it will do that the first time after you've unplugged it from a computer or charger. So you just have to wait. But I'm not sure if it only does that when it's fully charged Sometime it doesn't for me, but it always does it after I've just fully charged it, which by the way, the little red light up here turns off when it's fully charged. But other than it just having to record for a few seconds after you have just charged it, that's the one problem. And the other problem is after you've went in the water with it, the microphone cuts out or it's a lot harder to hear and you have to hold it a lot closer to you or yell at it for it to hear you as good 
until the microphone dries out. But other than that, the camera is perfectly good, and I've been enjoying using it for about three years now. This is actually my personal one. I'm thinking about getting another one just in case, but I've been using this one for three years, and the battery life is three hours, so that's pretty good. Okay, so would I recommend this camera? Definitely, especially if you're trying to just have a lot of fun with it, not necessarily. If you're trying to make professional shots, then no, but if you're just having, trying to have some fun, maybe at the pool, maybe on your bike with the included bike mount, or just trying to have some fun with it in general, trying to do some different videos and stuff, I would definitely recommend it considering it's only 30 bucks on Walmart and 27 on Amazon. Links to buy it will be in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. And like this video. Peace.